Hello and welcome to Shelf Centered. Thanks for getting centered with us today on this Friday. So I appreciate all the support. Oh my gosh, just literally a couple weeks ago I was celebrating 400. We're now just locking into 450 for subscribers. You guys are just so kind, so awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I literally I appreciate all your support. It's really just been a blast to do this and to have fun and get supportive, nice messages like I got yesterday, and I go, oh my gosh, that, that, that made my day. Uh, so I just, <laughs> um, I, you know, some people appreciate my laid back style, so I appreciate that back, uh, and I do. I just, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get more energy than this, because I, I just, <laughs> when I get into talking fantasy books and science fiction, I get into my happy place, and it calms me down, and it just, it just makes me happy. So anyway, thanks for uh, <laughs> for just just continuing to, to support me. Um, anyway, sorry about all that. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get into a good weekly update. That's this is what centering the shelf is. It's my weekly update. I post videos. I can officially say it because I've been doing this for like a couple months now. At least every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I try to throw in a Monday here and there, but that's pretty much been the schedule I've been able to keep, and I'm gonna try to keep doing that and uh, for the foreseeable future until things change, but right now, there's no plans for that. Uh, right now, uh, just to get into what am I reading, where what's my progress like, where are we at with that? Um, Bone Hunters, I'm kind of a little emotional right now because I just finished the epic chapter seven uh, right there, there we are in this bad boy. What is it? 448 pages in. Um, oh my gosh. Chapter seven goes down in history is one of the best chapters ever written. It's insanely long. Um, and it's, it's just beautiful. Um, so many things, so many things, so many betrayals, but then just things that even the enemies learn. And that's what I love about the series is, the I, I'm rooting for everyone at one point, <laughs> pretty much, you know, until unless it's the really bad guys, you know, I'm never gonna root for like Malik Rel or something, but um, and uh, so far, uh, and and you know, there's just terrible people that I'm not gonna be rooting for, uh, but it's hard not to root for some of just these great uh, anyway characters that are on both sides, whether Malazan, which is how my audiobook. Uh, pronounces it so there's at least some backing to my mispronunciation maybe um, anyway so that's bone hunters loving it I like I said it was one of the best chapters ever so what do you what do you think uh, my opinion of the book is so far this is a reread so uh, of course and when I remember finishing it and being warned that the kind of the latter half of Malazan was gonna be the rougher half that it kind of was where people gave up on the series uh, not on, I remember finishing Bone Hunters and going, possibly my favorite book now. Um, there's so much that goes on in that, and I think I've heard it described, uh, and maybe from the author, uh, that it's really two books in one, and that absolutely is true. Even though, I mean, it's made up of a couple books, but it's like, there's the first half, and then the second half, I remember them being quite a bit different from each other. But I remember just being blown away and going, how is, this is literally, already just got better somehow. Bone Hunters, Malazan reread, loving it. Still uh, <laughs> haven't stopped reading Malazan in like a couple months now and it's been beautiful. Um, all right, number, the other one, I always, I always have a couple. Here's my philosophy on reading multiple books. Multiple books can be read like you, we watch multiple shows. You can keep multiple plot lines in your head on multiple shows. Why can't you do that with books? So maybe I'm in the mood for fantasy. Maybe I'm in the mood for science fiction. Same thing when I pull up a show. Maybe I'm in the mood for, some, for a comedy. Maybe it's action. Maybe it's something else. But I can always change that around. And I feel like you could treat books the exact same way. Um, and so anyway, and maybe you want some urban fantasy. And that's what my other book that I am literally, I think everything I'm about halfway through now. Um, and like I said, I've been back in and actually reading. So it's been glorious. <laughs> this last month has just been, or two months, I should say, has been insane. Just busier than usual. I mean, I, I'm, I'm busy enough with uh, a law career and 
uh, four kids and just trying to keep up on everything. Um, and, and then you add moving and having to paint for hours on end for many, many Saturdays. There's just, where was the extra time? It did not not exist. But anyway, so uh, it's nice to be back to actually uh, reading again. <laughs> and, and I just happened to start a YouTube channel in the middle of it, in the middle of it, so... Genius, I know. That's come to come to me for more genius ideas. Uh, Hantes, this is it's. I've said this before. It's like uh, the Dark Trials is kind of the origin story. Um, Dante's is like where we get to see the superhero come out and, and superhero for this world because it's a little different. But I think I think it's applicable and I like it. So it's a whole different kind of change of pace, but in such a great direction that I love. Um, so anyway. Really enjoying that. That's a sequel. Um, and as I think I've kind of stated, my, my Goodreads has said I've been reading this for a while, but I just it was more to just be able to quote things as I, I kind of dabbled. Uh, but anyway, um, Sorcery, look at this beat up copy. Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. It keeps getting smashed in my, in my book bag, so uh, my bad. <laughs> Keep getting beat up. Um, Sorcery, I've been going through uh, publication order. So I've got, you know, this is book five. Yeah, book five. I've found, I don't know, um, it, this one's been really good. And this has probably been the most quotable of all the books. So I have to, you know, give it all that. Um, but I found that Rince Wind's Bumbling is probably, um, it's just not my favorite compared to like Granny Weatherwax or Mort. Um, and death, I, I don't know. There's just something a little more compelling about them as opposed to Rince when kind of just stumbling into things. And um, but anyway, I, having said that, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, you know, actually making some decent progress here. Um, and that shouldn't take too much longer because it's very short. Um, but I finally actually kind of committed to that one um, and reading it. And it, it you know. Some of these are even on my TBR for my last video, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an updated TBR because uh, it needs one. All right, um, I wanted to get into some of the books that I am anticipating. I can't wait to read that I just keep hearing some really good things about or that just people have been talking about and that suddenly you know, I, I delved deeper into research and started looking into it. So the first one is The Iron Widow. And it's, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce this name and I will take any corrections I can get. Uh, Ziren J. Zhao. Um, anyway, it just looks cool. The, the cover art is beautiful, so you got to check that out. Um, other one is, it's funny, I just kind of, uh, I, I am Twitter followers with Michael R. Fletcher, but, and so I kind of just took for granted, of course I'm interested in his books, uh, you know, and, and I just, I realized I hadn't even actually talked about it, so the one that I, that is definitely on my list is Beyond Redemption, I haven't read anything by him yet, but I really want to start, and I think that might be the way to start, unless you tell me that I should start somewhere else, uh, because I will listen, um, uh, the other one is uh, Howard Andrew Jones has been on my list for a while. He's got this series out. It's kind of new to me, but it's I, I don't think it's really super new. But it's For the Killing of Kings is the first book. Uh, Howard Andrew Jones has been on my list since, uh, what is it, J. Diddy Esquire uh, was talking about him back in the day. And uh, so I... I own multiple books of his. Do Have I read them? No, I don't read books. I just buy them, okay? You know that. <laughs> Anyway, just many, many more on my list here. So those are the ones that I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, oh, um, Voice of War by Zach Argyle is another one. Have you seen the beautiful copies that people are showing around? Uh, you gotta check them out. I hopefully I can find something and show uh, on this video. They're gorgeous. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, anyway, that alone, let alone I hear it's also a good book. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's get into some deals right now. Uh, we've got a couple that just like one is a deal of the day. Practical Demon Keeping by Christopher Moore is only a buck ninety nine. Uh, any Christopher Moore fans out there? Uh, I've read a couple of his, and I think I read Island of the Sequin Love Nine, <laughs> and uh, they're just. It's like, you know, I, I like Terry Pratchett. He's like Terry Pratchett, but a little more like biting, a little more edge, a little more, um, 
I don't know. Maybe I can't say that because I haven't read enough Terry Pratchett. I'm only on book five. Uh, maybe I don't know that. Um, but anyway, here's a couple. Let's see, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle is only book 99. Uh, Ring Shout is only 2.99. Uh, the Belgarians still on sale. Oh, long way to an, to a small angry planet is only a buck ninety nine. So, and I and I got a couple more. I'll I won't list them all just because it's all it is reading a, a list of deals. It's really entertaining. Uh, uh, let's see. All right, media. I wanted to look at just kind of some upcoming media. Uh, obviously, I've been very excited for the Wheel of Time ad- adaptation. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's kind of one of the things that kind of finally got me to finish. That's why I finished earlier this year. And so I'm really excited uh, to uh, see how things go. I am cautiously optimistic still. Uh, and and my, my, my review of the last teaser trailer is my only video so far to get dislikes. So, uh, so I feel like I've made it <laughs> in the YouTuber world now that I've gotten dislikes. I, there we go. We, we've won. Um, but anyway, the Wheel of Time series starts November 19th. I literally, we're like talking about a month away. Uh, cannot wait. It's, it's really exciting here. Um, I just kind of looked some things up. I, I haven't talked Witcher. Witcher, I know people are very excited about. I, I just had a hard time with the, the only book that I read. It wasn't my favorite. I kind of put it down. I, I, I play the game. It's pretty good, obviously. It's only like the game of the year or something. I just, I'm not a, like, I need a game more clearly. There's just not time in the day. Um, but uh, I do hear that this series has been good. I don't know. Um, but season two starts December 17th, so that's good. I looked that up at least, so give you some news but that's it um umbrella academy i can say that uh, i'm a fan of and that season three is supposed to start next year and that's as close as i could get for any information on that um i was recommended by a dear friend um for to watch foundation i hear it's pretty good so that's one that's definitely on my list now um i anyway any any thoughts on foundation how is it um i'd love to know uh should i do it should i should i be watching that and I have read the first book. I remember just kind of like the ideas in it are really great. The way it was told is just, it's, it's, I don't know, pretty boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was kind of bored, but at the same time, it's, it's the ideas I think are what really kind of helped me to, to finish it and everything. So anyway, um, what are you reading? What are you doing right now? What are you excited about, whether books or media-wise, as far as it relates to science fiction and fantasy? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to, love to chat. Uh, anyway, hopefully you're doing well, and have a great weekend. We'll see you. Bye.